Hello, my friends. Today is March 23. Our topic is finding comfort in conflicts. Is there any time when you were left despondent? A sermon or a man or words of encouragement pass through your ears? Or is there any time when you were thinking and worrying about your tomorrow or about your children's future or about your spouse? Did you ever lose hope and shut tears even beyond your control? Or is there any time when you were disrespected, when you were rejected, when you were regarded and lost your hope, someone all of a sudden from nowhere came and comforted you either through a text or through a call or a passage of scripture? John the Revelator on the island of Patmos passed through the same experiences as you had. Our devotion comes to us from Revelation chapter 1, verse 1 again. The revelation from Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show his servants what must soon take place. He made it known by he sending his angels to his servant, John. My brothers and sisters, you are every day, may be days of conflicts, may be days of disappointments, may be days of criticism. And perhaps you may be thinking yourself, why Lord, why me, why my spouse, why my family? There is no life without conflict. But the question is, how can you find comfort in the midst of your conflicts? The book of Revelation chapter 1 verse 1 gives three possible answers if you just try to break it down. Number one, Revelation 1, 1, conflicts have conveniency or conflicts have opportunities. When John was with Jesus, he did not have such visions for three and a half years. But when he was left alone, when he was exiled, God made this conflict as an opportunities. Perhaps you may be crying today. You may think your life is over without hope today. Perhaps you may be hurt and you harm yourself. Stop that, my friends, and see there is always a turning point in the midst of conflict. There is always a hope in the midst of conflicts. There is always a solution in the midst of conflict. Number two, Revelation 1, 1 again. Conflicts bring conclusion. My friends, until there was a reformation, there was suppression. Until there was a revolution, there was poverty. Until there was a war, there was a slavery. Whenever and wherever there is conflict, there is resolution. There is conclusion. My friends, never be disturbed where there are conflicts. Just deal it positively to come for certain reconciliation and resolution. Every conflict will end up with conclusion. Number three, conflicts bring clarity. My friends, only during conflicts, we can understand the mindset of people. We can understand people's thought about you. You would be blind, but now, you see very clearly what others think about you. Conflicts are always good to understand where you stand, what is your position, and how you deal with. Never be discouraged when conflicts arise. Face it, deal it, and win it, my friends. Here is the hope for you today from Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. Don't be afraid of what you are about to suffer. I tell you, the devil will put some of you in prison to test you, and you will suffer persecution for 10 days. Be faithful even to the point of death, and I will give you life as your victor's crown. My friends, there may be conflict, there may be controversy, but in the midst of conflict, find comfort. Let's pray. Heavenly God, 
there may be somebody passing through conflicts today. Maybe family conflicts, maybe financial conflicts, maybe conflicts in the workplace. But please, dear Lord, give them comfort. Find, help them to find opportunities in conflicts, conclusion in conflicts, and comfort in conflicts. Thank you so much once again, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.